Well, thank you very much for tuning into my videos. Please subscribe. And if you have any questions about an American Beauty lathe or any other robust tools, let me know. Thank you. So join me today and see how I color this piece from the inside. Okay, now I have a box full of hollow forms that I need to complete sometime. Now, in my Learn to Turn with Sam channel, I really haven't done much with embellishing. In this video, I'm going to pick one of these hollow forms and get it a little bit closer to completion and embellish the outside of it. So let's uh, readjust and we'll find something in this box and uh, work on it. All right, now I found a nice little hollow form. It's probably five inches tall, maybe six inches in diameter here, and it's pretty plain. I'm sure this is some box elder. Maybe we'll find out as we go along here. I've already got a tenon on this that I can just simply put into these chuck jaws. I need to uh, true it up. The inside and the outside are not very level. The inside and the outside are, are not true. They're, they're quite a bit warped. So let me turn this on and I'll show you. So yeah, before I do anything, I got to get a tool inside and one on the outside and true this up. This has been rough turned. And there's quite a bit of thickness there, probably a half an inch all the way down through there. Okay, now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm taking a tool and I'm gonna clean up the opening because I intend to put a, a threaded lid in this. And while I'm here, I'm gonna just clean up this area right right near the opening all right now i'm going to find a, a hollowing tool and get to the inside of this Now I really want to make the focus of this video the coloring and embellishing later on, but it's important that I true up this surface. Here I'm using a bent tool with a carbide cutter uh, to work on the inside of the vessel. And it doesn't really take too long to do this, but it's important. And I really rough turn pretty much everything I'm turning anymore, including hollow forms. Okay, I've got the inside of my hollow form leveled off and trued up. And I got to turn to the outside here. I didn't show you most of this uh, hollowing on the inside because you can't see it anyway. So I'm gonna get a spindle gouge and uh, go to work on, on the outside of this. Then we'll think about some embellishment here, making this uh, look a little bit prettier. Now I've got some numbers on the side of this vessel here and I was uh, drying this in the microwave plus it's been sitting around for five months.
Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, if I do any carving or any anything like that, maybe making some beads on the outside here, I've got to leave a little bit of thickness. So I'm going to work my way around, and I can feel inside here that I'm I'm pretty good. Maybe a quarter of an inch, which is fairly thick, actually. Get a little bit more speed going. I'm going to take a couple of my favorite scraping tools and just uh, fine tune the outside of this. Yeah, I like it. And I really think I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards making some beads on the outside here. So let me think about this and uh, we'll carry on. All right, now embellishing wood embellishing one of your turned items here's my definition of embellishing well it's simply changing the appearance of wood this is a really bland piece of box elder very straight grain no burl no knots no uh, extra figure in this wood so I'm going to embellish it I'm going to make it look better I hope and I'm going to use one of my favorite techniques and that is uh, adding a die on the inside of this piece and let it bleed through to the surface so that's our next step here all right now I'm all ready to do some coloring what I usually do is start with a darker color I've got some red I've got some brown Got some blue and what I use for the coloring is a trans tint dye and I mix it with lacquer thinner. I've got my dye thinned down with some lacquer thinner and you can buy different uh, dyes and stains that are compatible with water or denatured alcohol or other um, colors. So I'm going to take the lids off these containers and I added a little bit more lacquer thinner to each one of these. I have got a ton of videos dealing with embellishing, coloring and carving and scorching and all kinds of stuff. You can find those on Wyoming Wood Turner. So I'm going to start, let's pick blue. And what I'm going to use to apply this is a pipette. And these are very cheap, so I'm going to just put this in here. It's like a big long eyedropper if you will okay now I had to take a second and cover the opening around the opening with some tape so it's just not very good if you have your your color bleed down the the side of your vessel so I'm going to take my 
my blue very carefully, put it in here. I don't usually do a straight grained piece of wood, but this could be pretty cool. Now if I can look inside there, sometimes what happens is that that color puddles in there. So I'm getting a little bit up towards the opening and I want that to happen. So I'm going to take some and put right under the rim. And we may not be able to see this until we take the, the tape off here. So here we go. Hey, you get the idea? Now I'm going to let that dry for a second. And I'm going to pick, uh, I think I'll pick red. And get a paper towel under here. This is, this is kind of a messy process. And a lot of, that I, <laughs> And a lot of what I do turns out to be messy. Okay, I tried to get some around the rim. I'm going to go, go a little lower. Now it's really important that you get your hollow form fairly thin. maybe three sixteenths of an inch. So I'm going to just slosh that around. Is that a word? I'll try to get some in the middle here. I probably have some of that uh, liquid pooling inside. I'm going to take a flashlight and, and just see All right, that doesn't look too bad. I don't have a lot puddling in there. I think temporarily I'm going to take this tape off. I can put some more on later. So there we go. Now this works probably better with a burl, but this isn't too bad. Now what you're seeing down here and up here, that's end grain. Right in the middle here is more side grain. And I may not get a lot of color down through there, but I'm going to let that dry probably till tomorrow. Because you can get too much liquid in there and your vessel can crack. And we don't want that. All right, now I'm going to continue with my coloring process here. I've got some amber and I'm going to use that now to uh, add a lighter color. If I keep adding darker colors, the surface really becomes uh, almost black. It's just not good because the, the colors and the, the dyes, I should say, blend inside the pot and uh, just produce a kind of maybe a brown color. I'm trying to get some of that that dye right under the rim and I'm doing okay later on in a future clip I take that tape off and we can see a little bit better what that looks like. Now I'm pointing to some of that amber color that came through the surface. And I think eventually I'm going to go to a yellow, which is even lighter. And uh, I believe I removed the tape here. And you can see exactly what's going on. Give you some better shots of this. Yeah. Now I'm happy with the top part of my hollow form. I want to 
fill in all the light areas that are just uh, clear wood. I don't really like that. So anyway, we'll, we'll continue on with a little bit more coloring and see what happens. Now what you are looking at is my completed hollow form. This is a video of it sitting on a turntable and it's going to look quite different than uh, some of the upcoming clips in which I am coloring it. After I was all done coloring it, I did a little bit more work on it and I'm pretty happy with the surface. So uh, keep that in mind as you go forward in this video. Thank you. Okay, now just a little bit more information about these dies that I'm using. I get these from Stuart McDonald, Stu Mac, and this particular color is lemon yellow, and that's the, the next uh, color I'm going to use and probably the last color. So let's take a look at my, my vessel. You know, right now it's really pretty, pretty ugly. Okay, when I get a shiny lacquer finish on that, it's going to really be cool. I don't like the bare wood. Okay, and there's quite a bit of that just light colored bare wood uh, on the surface. The bottom of it's pretty dark, and that's what happens when you get too much of those dark colors in there. And I hope I hope that lightens up a little bit. So what I'm going to do, make sure this is in the, the camera. Anyway, I've got just a little bit of this in a cup. That's really a almost a brand new bottle. So what I'll do is I'm just going to flood this on the outside. Okay. Flood the surface, make sure it's all coated. And if I have a really, really important piece, I will get my airbrush out. But this works okay. As you can see the difference. You can see what's happening here with that, that yellow filling in the, the white areas. Now something very important to pass on is this small bottle, it's about two ounces, it will make one or two quarts of, uh, of dye. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and see what it looks like. Okay, now I've come over to another lathe with another uh, scroll chuck on it and I've fine-tuned this to the point where I can glue it in. Okay, I want my insert sitting at the surface right here or a little, a little lower than that. But I'm not going to glue it in right now. I still have a lot of finishing work to do on my hollow form. So now I'm going to go find a piece of wood and turn the finial part of this that will thread into my insert. If you have hung in here to this point, you deserve to see the finished piece with the finial I make in the next video. So stay tuned to that and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. Okay, now it is my intention to make a lid and a finial that are threaded into the base of this hollow form. So this is just a little glimpse of my insert and I'm going to put up another video on this channel, Learn to Turn with Sam, showing how I made that finial.